Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Verma from Unikaksha. So in this session, we are going to discuss how to access of Azure Virtual Machine in Azure Web Console. Because we know that if you have provision of your virtual machine in the Microsoft Azure Cloud, you can access when you have a Linux virtual machine using of the SSH and there are so many utilities are available. So sometime in the production environment, third party tools are not available. And I have a web console of my Azure and I have username password. So now point is that how would I access when I don't have the Linux machine, right? Basically I have Windows based machine and whatever I'm using doesn't matter. So can I access of my virtual machine in the Azure web console? Obviously, yes. So I will show you how to do with this. So let's jump on Azure portal. So first of all, I will provision a Azure virtual machine and then I will show you how to do it. So let's get started. So friends, this is my Azure dashboard and now you can see. So first of all, what to do? We have to create a one resource group because you know when you are not provisioning any kind of resource group, you can't provision any kind of resource. So let me create a resource group. Choose your subscription. So let me share a name, any name like uh, Michael, right? In which reason you are going to provision? This is a logical thing. You can provision any reason, right? No one will stop you. So it's uh, your choice. This is Central India. Review plus create and then create. Yeah, my resource group is ready. Then after this, what to do? We have to configure a virtual machine, right? So let me create a virtual machine. Yeah. Then now choose your subscription, right? And now select off your resource group. Okay. Because I have already created a video on this. So now give it a name. Right. Sanjay VM1. Right. And now choose the reason. Any reason you can choose. So I am going to deploy this virtual machine inside the Mumbai. Sorry, this is not Mumbai. Actually, central. this is Central India. Right. So availability zone. Yeah. You can choose the availability zone, in which availability zone. So this is Linux base and this is the SSH authentication. So I'm supplying the username. I'm making the password based authentication and share the password. Like Correct. And now SSH is allowed. Now take the disk. Networking. Okay. Management. And click on advance. Review and create. My virtual machine will be live. Now validation is passed successfully. Let's click on create. Please wait. So provisioning is under process. Now our virtual machine is ready. Click on go to resources. Okay. And now you can see we have all the thing public IP is available, right? So you can see all the detail, correct? So now point is that connect. This is the Linux based virtual machine. So what to do? How we can connect all this? Right. So my dear friend, Microsoft Azure gives you a cloud shell, right? You can see on my screen. So using of the cloud shell, you can access of your virtual machine in the Microsoft Azure web console. So you can see it's a going to connect in your account, right? And now my virtual machine is available, correct? So you can see. So sudo su hyphen. Okay. Now 
bad command no problem let me check now the pwd yes i am available in the sanjay home directory okay so if you want to execute anything you can run you can run off your task you can mkdir data right now you can see data directory is available right i want to create a blank file fetch sanjay.txt right do the ln correct now check this is the file if you want to delete this file rmrf fnrf.txt so when you don't have the third party tool at your machine like git bash right you can access of your machine in the cloud share and one more thing you can also access of your linux based machine virtual machine on windows 10 because windows 10 also give you the ssh feature using of the cmd you can open the windows 10 command line interface and you can do it so let's see how to connect with windows machine now you can see this is my windows 10 so let me open a cmd right run as correct so this is my command line interface so what to do here we have to run the command ssh username as sir at the rate 20 dot one nine three dot one four seven dot two three three. This is the public IP of my machine, right? So let me do the yes. Yeah. So what to do? You have to share the password of your Azure machine. Yeah, I am able to log in. correct like this you can access of your virtual machine so it's a your choice if you want to access of your virtual machine inside the cloud shell you can do it otherwise when you have a windows tan so ssh key based authentication or password based authentication also work in windows tan environment so you can use it so this is the idea behind of this so thank you so much